Okay. Well, we, uh, you know, obviously ran into a very good Arkansas team tonight, which we knew going in. And Murphy, uh, Murphy really pitched well. I thought that uh, he uh, mixed his pitches, uh, used both sides of the plate, and and, and really was in, in control of us. Uh, and offensively, uh, you know, we hadn't been held down that way for uh, for a long time this year. So, you know, that's I feel like that's how good he really pitched. So, but I was proud of the way our guys battled there at the end. We didn't go away quietly. Uh, certainly, uh, they made a decision to go in the pen and save him a little bit. But uh, we we did have some uh, good at bats there and were able to scratch for a couple of runs and take that zero off from there. Uh, you know, defensively, Stevie. You know, uh, you know he uh, just didn't command the, the the secondary. I think, and and Arkansas had that momentum going. Of course, the atmosphere was however many thousand people were there, really energized. You know, their hitters, and and it really showed. So, uh, you know, we uh, we've been in this situation before. You know, last Saturday, a week ago, with Charlotte uh, hit us uh, for a loss that night. We had to come back and. Uh, play the next day and uh, certainly had to win two the next day with the second being a championship. But tomorrow we need to win two to, to get to Monday. So, But we'll have to take uh, the first game against Dallas Baptist before we can look ahead. All right, questions for the student athletes. Raise your hand and we will get a microphone to you. Both guys, can you speak to what Murphy was throwing, how he looked tonight, and then um, – the ninth inning, just getting some stuff going there. I felt like Murphy was just uh, was commanding the zone real well. Um, it's not like we could just uh, take our time through at bats, and because uh, he was filling the zone up, and uh, we just we I thought we barreled some balls up, just right at people, and uh, it was game of momentum, like we said, like Coach Barry said, and uh, they had the they had the. Um, tempo they punched us in the mouth and uh we just didn't answer but we're a resilient bunch and uh i think we'll be just fine tomorrow yeah like luke said he was around the zone all night so uh whenever a guy's doing that it's hard to take him in deep into that bats um you just kind of got to work through counts and do whatever you got to do to uh extend his pitch count and um like luke said also we we did thought we had some pretty good well hit balls that were either right to somebody or Ended up being a, a good play, and that just feeds into the momentum. And um, I think we're, like he said again, like we're a resilient bunch, and I feel like we're just going to come out here tomorrow. And uh, we've got two good teams to beat that we got to uh, take care of. So looking forward to getting out, to getting out there again tomorrow. Any more questions for the student athletes? All right, fellas, thanks. Questions for Coach Barry. About defense, uh, yep. your left fielder made a really good one, and it looked like Arkansas made several. What did you think of the defensive plays tonight? Well, they were really good plays. You know, that ball was – it seemed like when the ball got up there well, above the lights, it was really traveling. But if it stayed down below the lights, uh, it was holding up just enough for some really good outfielders to, to make some tremendous plays. I felt like that Arkansas had us really played well, particularly early in the game, took away some possible hits, some things that could have got some momentum going. Uh, you know, Gabe uh, is probably who you're talking about, our left fielder, that made a really nice play there. So, uh, you know, you, you don't know how momentum – really kind of swings, but certainly there early in the game, uh, you know, when, when we did, I feel like, hit probably our hardest balls against Murphy, you know, those guys were well played and, and played it well. Coach, what did, what did you make of the impact uh, Carson Shaddy made in that second inning? I think he led the inning off with a walk and then had the triple later. You know, he's uh, he's an energetic Young man, I knew you know I knew that. Of course, I competed against his dad in high school back several years ago. So uh, you know his dad was the same way, and I know he played here. So um, you, you can just tell that he's a gamer, uh, and and he really competes both uh, at the plate, defensively. He's kind of their guy that just really sparks him. I watched him out there on defense. He was the first guy to compliment somebody on a big play, and and it wasn't with just his mouth from distance. I mean, he he moved his feet to that guy to let him know. So. He's a he's a nice player, and uh, they've got several of those on that on that team. Hey, 
Hey, hey, Coach, I just wonder who, who you were uh, planning to start tomorrow. I guess, would, would it be Powell or have you made a decision? Yeah, we'll go with Walker Powell. That yeah. will be our guy that we'll go against. He's obviously Taylor. pitching his hometown. What, what do you expect from him in, in that situation? Well, I know he's he's probably excited and anxious to get out there, uh, you know, being coming back home. So, you know, we never know how that's going to play out. So, you know, all we can do is, is – uh, if your player or coach has asked for an opportunity, and then it's up to us to go out. But, you know, I have total confidence in Walker. You know, I hope he doesn't try to do more than he's capable of doing just because of the, the atmosphere and the surrounding. If he stays within himself, you know, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll do well. Uh, coach, uh, just how tough was it for the environment tonight with, with Stevie? You know, I don't – that's the weird thing. I don't, I don't think it was, you know. You know, I didn't see him throwing balls in the dirt. I just did not see command of that secondary. You know, they they really hit a lot of fastballs and advantage counts, their counts, because he wasn't able to really command that breaking ball and that changeup. I wish he could have got that changeup a little bit over a little bit more and, and just to kind of uh, offset that rhythm that they had. But, you know, they're a good hitting ball club. There's a, there's a fast twitch in their bat. And, uh, you know, it, it, it can catch up to that fastball real quick. And, you know, I think that's what we saw tonight. Coach, over here to your right. Yes. Uh, in, in every game this weekend, uh, every team scored at least nine runs, at least once, and then there have been a lot of home runs. Have you found this to be a, a friendly park offensively overall? <laughs> I'll tell you what, it, it flies out of here. Uh, you know, and of course, the wind's blowing a different direction today, but, uh, you know, like yesterday, I really felt like anything down the lines had a chance to go out. And today, we kind of we had a lot of left-handed hitters, so we kind of sliced the ball down the left corner. But it was kind of holding up, it seemed like, over there today, where yesterday it kind of went out. But um, I don't remember this park playing as small, I think, um, back several years ago as it seemed ha as it seemed the, the past two days. But, yeah, the ball is uh, is really traveling. Yes, sir? Uh, is your catcher okay? And he you is. Figure, figure out what Dave's argument was there on the play at the plate. Well, no, I think I think he was arguing that there was a uh, a possible obstruction where our catcher was in in the baseline before the ball. Uh, you know, I thought it was a clean play. I think, you know, with the way that rule reads right now, it's all a judgment anyway. Uh, you know, I know whenever you watch that NCA video, it's so many feet before. The plate, and you know, we as coaches, you know, you got. I know we've kind of joked where you got to have a tape measure to make sure that it's that distance. So I thought it was a good, clean play. Uh, you know, our our guy did a great job, Lamarcus, of recognizing. I don't think he thought he was going, obviously, and and they kept him going, and he made a strong throw, and I thought it was a good, clean play. Uh, but he's uh, he's fine. Yeah, there's no. I we've got. A long day tomorrow, so I wanted to get him some rest. So he'll be having a lot of work tomorrow. I wonder how much, how difficult is it to pitch to a team like Arkansas that's so good at, at going the opposite field? Uh, it's pretty difficult whenever you know you you can't command any kind of secondary and really just speed and slow them up. I think that's what you've got to do. They're, like I said, they're tremendous fast twitch hitters. Uh, they can get that bat through the zone. They can time that fast ball up. Um, certainly, uh, I, I think when you hit against their pitching staff all fall too, it kind of prepares you for you know what's ahead of you. But they're a very good offensive club, very athletic. Uh, they they go from first to third as good as anybody I've seen. So you know they got a lot of momentum tonight, and uh, rightfully so. We didn't do anything to keep that momentum from them, and uh, they they certainly capitalized on it, particularly in that seven run inning.